show just a brief pause. There's 48 of these holes, or I counted at each Y, and then I divided by 2. I found the center, then you add, divided by 2, you get 24. Then at 24, you cut. And then at 24, you divide by 2, and that makes 12. You cut every 12. Now we're half of 12, so every 6 we're going to cut, and then that makes our windmill blades. Let's continue on. <laughs> Okay, I changed my mind. I decided not to wrap each blade with twine. I decided that I needed to bend these blades and then I have to create a brace, a brace that goes around it. And the only thing I can come up with is a long piece of wire doubled up. And now I'm wrapping it with twine. Um, I don't even think uh, some of those handles from my previous baskets will work because the metal's too hard to bend to form a circle. So I'm using what you call uh, wire and I am using uh, 22 gauge. So the 22 gauge is twisted is together and then I wrap in it with twine. And then we'll see how it turns out. But the I the previous idea it was starting to look like a flower. I did not want it to look like a flower. I want it to look like a windmill. And then we'll see what we do after we get it together. Stay tuned. Well, this is going to have to do for my very first windmill. I've never made this before and I have nothing to go on. So, <laughs> this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the twine and then I'm going to hook the windmill right onto this. And then place a circle, something metal in the circle. And I shall be done. Because the main idea is what I'm using it for. Stay tuned at the end to see what I use it for. And this was fun, trying to figure it out. Hi, this is Miss Jones. <laughs> I was going to place a mirror in the center. But I decided not to. Um, the reason is because I want this area right here for added storage use. And I'll show you in the end what this is going to be. Now, I tell you all the time that I buy the three ply twine, jute twine from Ace. That's because I can burn it. I cannot burn Dollar Tree's jute twine. There's too much wax in it. I cause a fire. Anyhow, I already burnt a little bit of this to make this twine darker. I'm going to do just the base right here. So, I mean, the stand part right here, so that it does look a little bit older. This twine's too light and too new. So, when I turn on my heat gun, you can see it, how it scorches it real quickly. But you have to move fast. But I'm used to using this heat gun, so, and it's a Dyrus heat tool. I used to use my hair dryer, but it never got hot enough for stuff, so. And this is really good to get um, melt, remelt all the hot glue if you use hot glue. I use very little hot glue into this. I did mostly fabric tack and, and a lot of just tightening of the twine. Alright, now here it goes. Watch this transformation.
See that? That's neat. I think that's nifty. It brings more rustic out in this design. Alrighty, I think this will be the last pause. Continue with the slideshow and then watch what I use this for. You will think, yes, I see it, I see it. This is a magnetic center. I'm getting ready to apply it in the center next. Hello, this is Miss Jonesy, and have you figured out what I wanted to use my windmill and my mirror for? Well, here it is. Earrings. Yes, can you see it now? Earring holder for in the bathroom. Lovely addition to the bathroom, and I can see my earrings displayed. And I do make earrings. I made those. And I've made this one. Can't find the other one right now. But watch the center. Now, my favorite necklace. Look at that. My favorite necklace is now in the center of the windmill. So make yourself a Dollar Tree windmill. Easy. It's just time consuming because you're wrapping twine around a lot of stuff. But it all comes together for a farmhouse DIY. And to hold your earrings and your necklaces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And we are switching up the bathroom decor. We had it on nautical, beachy theme for the past two years. Now we're going with a rustic outhouse type decor for my bathroom this year. And why not start out with a windmill that can house my earrings and my grandchildren's earrings. Yeah. See if I have some extra ears down here. Yes, I do. And I think I can place some of the earrings right there on the magnet for these pierced earrings. Little studs. So see the last video or the last photo. And then take care. See you again. Subscribe if you like my ideas. This is March 21st, 2000. Ms. Jones, and have you figured out what I'm going to use my windmill for? How about earrings? Yes, I make jewelry too. I give jewelry away for Christmas time. It's when I start making up jewelry and angels stuff like that anyhow this is looking for some more and that magnet in the center that little container from Dollar Tree take my necklace and there we go magnetizes my necklace so thank you for watching the slideshow and sharing with me a new Dollar Tree DIY which is the windmill West Rustic windmill and it's going to go in my bathroom very well because I'm changing out my decor and we're going to have rustic outhouse theme <laughs>
Send my blessings to you and your family for me and mine. This is March 22nd, 2019. Bye. Awesome.